XRP, Cardano and Polygon, all fighting versus dollar, all seen on the 3 day chart. If you want to know the price direction, keep watching. Number 1, XRP. So how is this chart looking to you? Well, not so great, but stay patient, I will show you something. Now when I say not so great, I think about moves like this that are going to the upside in full force in a couple of days, weeks and then lose everything. Look at this. This move started on 16th of September and it was fairly momentous, if that is even the word. You know, it had momentum to the upside, but now lost everything. This move started at 32 cents and what do you know, on New Year's Eve we touched 32 cents. That's not very really good. So the strength is all gone that was behind the move. Now since then, let's say since October we started that downtrend that we are currently still living in, right? It's true, we are mingling at that line of resistance, so that could mean that XRP is trying to say that it wanna break to the upside. Yes sir, this is one of the scenarios, break of the trend line, retesting and then whoosh into the future. For now, we gotta respect this trend line and say that this is not the case, but the price is getting really squeezed up to that line. Now this is the stuff that I wanted to show you. This line of support with that line of resistance is forming a falling wedge to some extent. That would be our bullish case. Falling wedge, break to the upside, retesting of those highs that we had at above 50 cents. See, I told you, not everything is black. But at this point, this yellow stuff is the real thing. We talk the bullish scenario, this is 21 moving average. We are well below it and it's been for quite some time now. Since this big spill, we are forming falling wedge, but we are below it 21. This is the reason why you should play your bearish narrative and not jump into the bull mode yet. Stay cautious wait for more evidence and definitely whatever you do watch that level that i gave you 32 cents if that breaks to the downside then xrp will be even in more trouble than it is now what will cardano do well it is doing something you see that we are moving quite fast in the last couple of days but is there a real meaning to it and this is my answer. In the short term, there is meaning to it. We have that green, beautiful candle that is breaking that two point line of resistance. Not only that, we are breaking that falling wedge that started its story in November of last year. So yes, something is happening, but I want you to stay cautious because the bigger downtrend is still in play. And I'm just taking a few points and those few are already in the summer, August, September, November. This should be your mantra. Downside it is, we could have a pretty nice rally into those resistance lines and then got rejected again. And I know that we can all agree on this, right? Move one more time the story of here, here or here. So in the short term, Kadama is looking good, but as we go longer and longer, there is a lot of work ahead of us. Let me point just something out, although it's not that important at this moment. When we decide to move harder into the future from those levels that we are today at 27 cents, 43 cents, I want you to remember this line of support, resistance, whatever you want to call it, because it was major support here, as you can see those bounces. When that floor broke to the downside, it proved on the first touch heavy resistance. It will be the case in the future, I have no doubt about it. But that story is still far gone because 21, three daily moving average is telling us that we are below it. First, to get to that very optimistic line, we got to break this moving average that is standing at 29 cents. So, one more time I'm stating, it kind of pushes down here, here, maybe that will be the case here. You know, stay cautious, don't get too bullish yet. Let's look at the prices 
day by day by 3 day. I want Cardano to break above 29 cents and then talk in a new manner. If the chart of Polygon is not looking sideways -y, I don't know what is. Look at this dumbling motions to the right. Yeah, we had that pull to the upside in November, but that is nothing that changed our narrative. Therefore, let's talk something that I really think should be discussed, and that is the level of 77 cents. Today we are at 80 cents. A few days ago we broke below 77, got back. This is so crucial line of support that Matic is always at the end climbed over, but maybe one time it won't be that, let's say, optimistic. It's always fighting along the lines of 77 cents. Here you could have thought this was a very bearish narrative, but hey, it got out of it and then moved to the higher grounds. Watch the level of 77 cents. This could be a downfall of Matic, at least in the short to medium term, not in the super long term, if we break this level. I mean, the chart is showing us that we always have some kind of a bounce of 77 cents. Yes, we can go 78, 76, who cares? I'm talking the area around 77. I would even contain it to the upside with the resistance of 95 cents, this boring price action. So we're really for months, we entered this channel at the middle of last year, for months we are moving inside of this channel of 77 and below 95. The areas, don't get me exactly on the notes. Why is this important? Because every time, and I mean about one time, that we break to the upside or to the downside out of this channel with volume and momentum, here it was almost the case, you can see the big volume that it had here. This could have fooled many of us, including me, that this would be a good break up to the upside. It failed miserably. When we break to the upside or downside with volume, momentum, whatever you want to call it, that would be a big move. Catastrophic to the downside or magnificent to the upside. I mean, that depends. Are you a bull or a bear, of course? Now, the thing is that we broke this short term downtrend here with candle a few days ago. And there is some volume to it, but not so much. The catastrophic thing would be if we fall back below it. That would mean the false breakout. That would mean that we are definitely breaking that 77 cents. And my concern about this breakout is it doesn't have that much volume for the first thing. And the 21 moving average of the three days is above it. The fear is that we will touch 85 cents where this moving average is today and then get that very ugly throwback to the downside below the trend line. That would kill the entire bullish narrative, at least for the few weeks. Let's be realistic, months. So remove everything when when uh, pinpoint the price direction. We are below 21 3 day moving average. I wouldn't call this narrative bullish in any case yet. Yeah, we have a few green days, but that's really nothing. We need more solid proof, more momentum and price action to the upside to change the bearish narrative. Those three coins have the same conclusion. They are fighting in the short term, but bears are still stronger in the long term. I don't care if you are a bull or a bear, but I would suggest that you follow me into the next one.